four stroke ic engines nowadays most engines that we see are four stroke ic engines four stroke ic engines differ from two stroke ic engines for the fact that they complete one cycle only with four stroke of the engine in other words it means that to obtain one power during one cycle the piston has to complete four strokes four stroke ic engines are of two types namely si and ci engines now let us look at the working of a four stroke spark ignition engine four stroke si engine a four stroke spark ignition engine consists of a piston which reciprocates inside the cylinder connecting rod crank shaft crank inlet valve exhaust valve and spark plug a four stroke spark ignition engine works on the auto cycle there are four strokes to complete one power cycle they are the suction stroke compression stroke expansion stroke and the exhaust stroke now let us see each of these strokes in detail a pressure volume diagram of the auto cycle which is shown will help us to identify each stroke separately one cycle is completed in four strokes of the piston and two rotations of the crank let us start with the suction stroke during the suction stroke the inlet valve opens and air fuel mixture is sucked into the engine cylinder this can be identified by the process represented by the dotted lines the piston moves from the top dead center to the bottom dead center and the volume increases as shown in the pv diagram now the system is in state 1 during the next stroke that is the compression stroke represented by the process 1 to 2 in pv diagram the piston moves from the bottom dead center to the top dead center which results in the compression of the air fuel mixture in the pv diagram we can see that during this period the pressure increases abruptly and the volume decreases simultaneously the process 2 to 3 represents the constant volume heat addition this is achieved with the help of a spark plug which introduces a spark into the cylinder at the end of the compression stroke in the expansion stroke or the power stroke the characterized by the process 3 to 4 in pv diagram the products of the combustion retained in the cylinder expands due to its high pressure this in turn pushes the piston downwards this is the reason why this stroke is known as the power stroke the volume of the gases increases and the pressure decreases the piston when it moves downwards rotates the connecting rod which in turn rotates the crank delivering the required power the piston while residing at the bottom dead center liberates heat during the process 4 to 1 it is to be noted that this is constant volume heat removal process next stroke is the exhaust stroke during which the piston moves from the bottom dead center to the top dead center pushing the combustion outward through the exhaust valve opening this is at constant pressure and is represented by the dotted line which also represents the intake the valves are normally controlled with the help of cam mechanism which are connected to the crankshaft the work done in a cycle is given by the area of the pv diagram this is all about the working of a four stroke spark ignition engine the explanation given just now is based on the theoretical auto cycle in actual case all these processes may be subject to slight variations the edges at 1 2 3 and 4 are not sharp The applications of such engines include use in automobiles, generators to pump water, etc. Four-stroke CI engines. Now let us look at the functioning of a four-stroke CI engine. A four-stroke CI engine has a similar mode of operation as that of a four-stroke SI engine, except for one fact that the spark plugs are not used for the combustion of fuel. four stroke ci engines operates on the basis of the diesel cycle whose pv diagram is shown during the suction stroke the inlet valves opens and only air is sucked into the cylinder this is represented by a dotted line 
This is also a major difference compared to SI engine. During the compression stroke, represented by the process 1 to 2, the sucked air is compressed to such an extent that the pressure inside the cylinder increases dramatically. During the process 2 to 3, heat is added at nearly constant pressure, that is, fuel is injected in required amount into the cylinder. Upon injection of fuel, the mixture ignites and releases a lot of heat. This results in the expansion of the combustion products. This is represented by the process 3 to 4 in the PV diagram. The piston moves from the top dead center to the bottom dead center, delivering power to the crankshaft. Heat is released into the atmosphere during the process 4 to 1 and this happens when the piston is residing at the bottom dead center. During the exhaust stroke, the exhaust valve opens and the piston moves from the bottom dead center to the top dead center, thus pushing the gases outward. The processes mentioned are based on the theoretical diesel cycle. The actual running of the engine may yield slightly different PV diagrams based on the running conditions and the load factor. Having said that the basic mechanism remains the same. The applications of such engines includes uses in automobiles, generators, pumps, conveyors, etc.